from north karnataka a land older than the himalayas come fascinating stories of ordinary creatures surviving in extraordinary circumstances hidden and forgotten a visually stunning and eye opening series on the oldest geological formation of the indian subcontinent and its amazing unique but neglected wildlife and natural wealth This is copper. This is the Deccan. Four years ago, Deccan Conservation Foundation initiated conservation activities in Koppal district of North Karnataka, an arid, dry region that is mainly neglected, non-protected, and a human-dominated, contested space. One day, we heard reports of sightings of the rare and elusive striped hyena. not seen here for decades we were excited and decided to investigate talking to local residents we visited a local lambani tanda or hamlet near a small rocky outcrop driving my trusty willis jeep i approached the rocks cautiously and drove towards it Taking a turn around the boulders I jammed the brakes in shock. Bikku I whispered softly pointing. A huge jungle cat was sitting amongst the rocks just meters away. He stared at me arrogantly unperturbed. One of 15 wild cat species found in India like the majestic royal bengal tiger, the asiatic lions, the indian leopard and the smallest cat on the planet the rusty spotted cat he was bold and old as his scars showed and had one infected or injured eye barely flinching he just sat there as we observed in awe Over the months and years that followed we at DCF have been protecting these rocks and this family of cats from poachers hunters and even human disturbances and all the while we were watching over them their range and distribution are largely oriental living in diverse and varied habitats across the subcontinent from dry grasslands to semi-arid deserts thorn and rocky scrub jungles to wet mangroves like the sundarbans in bengal opportunistic they often walk over 6 kilometers a day to look for food versatile they are diurnal and even hunt in daytime The sun will soon set over the western horizon and total darkness will envelop the land. It is now time to search, stalk and ambush prey. Evolved hunting skills are needed if they are to kill for food. Their diet consisting mainly of small birds, rodents, reptiles and even insects make up their diet. Other predators too like the shikra is also on the hunt for similar prey 
and the predators of the night the rock indian owl are also their competitors acute hearing with pointed ears keen eyesight with night vision a sensitive nose with a sharp sense of smell make them skilled and evolved hunters they will lie in wait watching patiently jungle cats are stock and ambush hunters once the target is located the hunt begins the hunter moving into killing gear their victims having no idea of their presence as soft padded feet will muffle any sound of footsteps without alerting the victim locking on to their target focus and concentration is the key to a successful hunt getting close enough for the final sprint they dig in their heels to pounce the victim still unaware of their presence and fate they will ambush prey and go for the jugular killing the victim with a strong jaw grip and razor sharp fang like teeth to tear flesh and bones only one in a dozen hunt end in success this is killing or be killed this is the survival of the fittest this is the law of the jungle this new male has fought with our old resident alpha and injured himself in a bloody cat fight for the right to mate and breed kitten are born early in the year to the breeding female the young will grow up nursed fed and protected by their parents always watching over them always on the lookout for threats and danger summer is ending and storm clouds gather over the horizon darkening the skies thick cumulus clouds pregnant with rain will fall on a parched and dry deccan bringing new life and renewed hope while i sit in the veranda of my ancestral home enjoying the welcome rain falling summer has ended farmers will now till their lands sow and grow pulses grains and cereals to feed themselves and their families the land is transformed into hues of greens and colorful wild flowers will bloom but sadly loss of prime wilderness have taken a heavy toll rampant degradation illegal mining have shrunk habitats to isolated unsustainable pockets widespread poaching and hunting have reduced crucial prey bases unplanned development like high tension power lines windmills cutting off wildlife corridors making survival even harder in these already hostile conditions but for us at tcf conservation activities will continue traveling across the length and breadth of koppal we convey these conservation messages working closely and supported by the forest department valuable data are recovered from camera traps confirming the presence of wildlife and potential microhabitats there are even jackals foxes and many other wildlife living and breeding in these small rocky outcrops living in harmony in this microhabitat and coexisting with each other If we are to preserve habitats and protect our wildlife we must make it a people's movement and all work together life must and will go on and today 
this amazing alpha male has since died in a territorial fight this film is dedicated to this unforgettable individual one that has earned my tremendous respect and taught me and inspired me on the will to live and survive he will be missed he will be dearly missed this is copper this is the deccan and this is the jungle cat <laughs>